Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. This is question 4b from the first session of Mr Clark's Scholarship Calculus sessions. And this was a little combinations proof. And we're asked to prove that this is a true statement. Before we get into it, we need to remember what is the NCK thing in there. So NCK means it's a combination, and it's how many ways are there to choose K objects from N objects when we don't care about the order. But we don't need to understand the context very well here. We just need to apply the definition. So n choose k is equal to that. Now, you might find it useful, before you start the proof, to just figure out what is n minus 1, k minus 1. Well, n minus 1 choose k minus 1 is going to be n minus 1 factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times, now I'm going to run out of space, n minus 1 minus k minus 1 factorial. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm applying this definition to n minus 1 and k minus 1. So cleaning that up, we get this. Now look what happens here. I've got n minus 1 minus k plus 1. So that second term in the denominator hasn't changed. It's still n minus k factorial. Now if you spot that before you start, it's going to save yourself a lot of sweating about how to make the whole thing work out. So just keep that to the side in a little box. Right, so let's look at what the left hand side is. k times n minus t k times n choose k. So k times n choose k is k times n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Um, we want to end up with n times n minus 1, k minus 1. We can see that we've got a common factor in here. So this is k times n factorial over k times k minus 1, k minus 2, and so on down to 1 times n minus k factorial. We can divide through by k. Now we're going to go to a new slide and keep on going from here. Make sure you've written all of this down before we move on. So here we're going to end up with um, n factorial times k minus 1 factorial times n minus k factorial which is equal to n times n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on, over k minus 1 factorial, n minus k factorial. And that equals n times n minus 1 factorial, over k minus 1 factorial, n minus k factorial. But we showed at the very start what this was equal to, and it's equal to n minus 1, choose k minus 1, as required. Okay, so we're done. So there are some slightly different ways of getting there. You don't have to write out that step at the start of showing the definition of n minus 1, choose k minus 1, but it's quite an efficient way to do it. If you don't do that, what you're going to do is you get down to here, and then you'd have to show that this thing was equal to this. Whichever way you go, just remember when you're doing a proof for scholarship you do have to show every little step of linking from one to the next. The thing we're um, looking not to see is a big gap and then suddenly magically the answer appears. Okay, um, thanks for watching.